Wow, it's been a long time since I've done this, but welcome back to my channel. It is me, Cutter Key Glam, and I'm here today to give you a wig review. Sorry, y'all, that I've been so MIA with the wig and hair content, but I just have not been into wigs lately, and everything just seems like it's looking the same, but I know I've done an Afro video before. But um, majority of the time when I do upload content, it is, you know, natural hair extensions or something of the sort. But um, I just wanted to come here today and say, I hope y'all 2022 is treating y'all well. Today we will be doing kind of like a double wig review. Oh yeah, before I get started, you guys, be sure to follow my jewelry page on Instagram at Curly K Jewels where I make beaded jewelry. I did not make these two bracelets. I bought these from Kato. But these two bangles I made... And I made these beaded bracelets. They were supposed to, you know, go with my <laughs> ensemble today. But yes, y'all, I make them for women and I make them for men. I also make earrings, like I said, bangles, anklets, rings, you know, the whole shebang. So check me out. Follow me. I will be starting my online e-commerce store soon. So stay tuned. I know I ain't been doing hair content, but I have been doing something. So today we will be reviewing or i will be showing you guys motown tress afro queen yes the package is open because i ripped those box like things out but this is the wig the wig is still in its net i haven't taken it out so you will be seeing it first glance with me um i can start off by saying one thing that i do like is i already like the color um one of my things that i've been wanting to find online as far as hair is natural textures that match my actual hair color and my natural hair color is somewhat of this this is supposed to be a t227 but to me it's giving 30 to me um you know sometimes 27 varies between um a few companies so sometimes 27 can lean on the cusp of 30 depending on whatever company or whatever vendor you buy from um, like I said, this is Motown Trace. I don't think I have any Motown Trace wigs. So this is actually my first one. And this is how the lady looks. I got two wigs. I got one in the color number four, you know, for when I wanted to be basic. And then I got this in the color T27 because I've been looking for a blonde afro. So here's the construction. There are no cones in this wig, just the adjustable straps. Like I said, I am excited for this wig. Um, because I, it's hard finding, my hair is dyed blonde and it's something similar to this. And so it's harder to find afros or, you know, extensions that have ombre colors. Um, because most of everything is streaked. But as you can see, there is a dark root. So it's giving like, it says it's a two, but it kind of looks like a four to me. But this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and shake this out. I already got my um, hoop earrings on standby. So this is the first time. Oh, got my pick with the fizz. <laughs> got my pick with the fizz, you know what I'm saying? Now, I have reviewed a wig on here before. It was Zuri Sis. Um, Zuri Sis. Rex, I want to say it was Rex. There's this Rex. Um, this this cap is pretty stretchable. Um, I know for myself, I have um, my hair is not braided down. My hair is in two buns in the back. But I can tell you already that I am sometimes with an afro, you never know whether to have a bang or not because. You know, when we have the curlier wigs with the defined curls, you don't necessarily, I mean, for the most part, you do get a bang with those. But with these, you kind of have to pick at them. And the reason why I've been wanting to wear Afro is because, you know, y'all, right now the seasons is in between. They're changing. And I want to wear my natural hair out. But because of what's going on with the weather, and it's about to get rainy, real rainy soon, because it's about to be spring, you know, my natural styles are not going to last. My hair will probably flourish with all that moisture in the air. But it's just the fact that, like, I'm going to have to constantly do my hair every day. So I'm just like, I'd rather just get me an Afro wig. 
give me Afro wig where I know I could just, you know, rock a fro and put on my earrings and look cute. I'm trying to give Amara the Negro, okay? But yes, I like the way this wig looks. I, now, let me tell you something. This is going to be my go-to. Not with these hoops. These too big. But maybe a little a smaller hoop like some bamboo earrings. I don't know. This color jumper I got on and these earrings, I feel like I'm giving a foxy vibe. <laughs> but I'm digging it. Look at me saying I'm digging it while I got this wig on. I am feeling it. I am feeling it. Okay. So, y'all, that's for the 227. Let me turn around so y'all can see. And don't talk about my rose, y'all. But, yes, I'm feeling this, y'all. And so, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to try on. Let me just see. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I typically do not like the color four. But I was like, for afro, I might as well get... A brown color you know I was like I don't have I mean it's an afro I have another afro wig that I have on color number four um it's sensational game changer but that one's more of a like a kinky curly fro versus this is just like you know an afro and one thing I need for companies to stop doing I'm need for y'all stop making afros rainbows clown hair I'm gonna need for clowns to adopt a new hairstyle. The curly fro cannot be it no more. And I just feel like that's somewhat like no. Mm -mm. I ain't in agree I ain't in agreement with it. Because afros are not clown wear. Black people's hair really grows like this. Black people's hair really grows like this. Like if my hair wasn't colored. My hair would look exactly like this, especially in this darker color. So I'm gonna need for the, the clown to get them a new, a new hairdo. Cause rocking the fro, I don't know. I might like the four. <laughs> rocking the fro is not feasible anymore. And like I said, y'all, my hair is in two buns, and you can't even tell. I like, oh, I like this. This is cute. Okay. Anytime you want to go to the store, throw her on. Shake her out. Throw her on. Let your, let your fro flourish underneath while you got this fro. Let me tell y'all something. This fro is so realistic, and it's a nice size. It's not too big because I know for myself, I was considering buying Free Trist Equal Afro Large. But I feel like Afro Large was giving too much. I'm trying to give power to the people, but not like Pam Greer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to have a fro this big. I just wanted one that was like normal size. That way it was blendable. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could blend in with, you know, regular people. Even though with a fro, people still look at you, but... I'm just like, okay, and then keep my handy dandy pick on person. What's up? But anyway, yeah, y'all. That's all I got. Let me know if y'all like these um fros. Which color did you like better? Did you like four or did you like T27? Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Curly K Glam and then follow my jewelry page at Curly K Jewels. Um, also stay tuned because I will be doing um a Batman review as well as I'm doing some TV show reviews because I'm catching up on some TV, you know, since, you know, some of us, some of us are still working remotely. So, um, <laughs> I will be catching up on my shows. I will be doing some reviews on some shows and some, some cartoons and some movies and stuff that I'm watching as an adult. And also stay tuned for my review of Gronish. Gronish is wrapping it up. I know I usually do my Gronish reviews, but this season I just wanted to watch grownish pan out first then tell you guys what i think about it so stay tuned y'all i got a lot coming up i know it's about to be warm outside and y'all finna be out in the street or whatever but just stay tuned yeah stay tuned don't forget to um like comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos this is